और बर्तन खुलता है उधर को जाता है आज घर में भी चोरी पकड़ा गया अब जाओगे कहा बाप क्या दोस्तों को जैसे बांधा है बोले भक्त कहते हैं अरे प्रभु जब तुमने सबको बांधा माया में फंसा दिया अरे इस माया जाल में हम भटक रहे हैं और तुम हंस रहे हो अच्छा ठीक है और हमारे पास भी वो गुरु जी का सूत्र मिल गया गुरु जी ने कहा थे ऐसे उनको शासन करने के लिए बांधने के लिए यही तरीका है प्रेम से ही बांधा जाएगा और इस प्रेम से ही बांध दिया इसलिए भागवत जी ने कहा प्रणय Tried to kill the Pandavas by his Brahmastra. 
how Krishna saved the Pandavas and baby Parishan, all is in the first canto. But because unless you know your goal, you cannot proceed. So in the same way you should know, where am I going? Where I want to end up? Therefore, Logalatsurila Koivali Pariyotana Vedanta says, our goal is the pastimes of Krishna, to enter there. But not just to attain Bhagavan like other sam like Magda Samadaya, Vishnu Ari Lapiti Mukti. On achieving Bhagavan is not enough. We want our Saru, Mukti Hitvamyatam Rupam Swaru Benavika. In our Saru, we want to enter those pastimes and perform seven to Bhagavan. So see Satyabad Rishi, from the beginning he is fixing his goal. Okay, there are many incarnations of Bhagavan and all are Satchidananda Rupa. All have transcendental form. Narayan has transcendental form. Ramachandra he has transcendental form. Nishingadev has transcendental form. But none of them have a transcendental form who is being chased by the mother. That is one speciality. Therefore, in Krishna's pastime, there is so much Madhurya you will not find in any other pastime. So from the beginning, Sandhya Muni is saying, you fix your mind there, these pastimes of Sri Krishna. Because Purusa Prakita Para, it is true that Krishna is beyond the material creation and Tambaja Nirguna Bhavet. And by worshipping that transcendental Sri Krishna, you will also become transcendental. Yo yo yam yam smani bhavam chatatam ti kerevaram tam tam iroisa sikuntiya samata baba baba. Whatever you think of, whatever you absorb yourself in, you will become that. Therefore, Satyabrat Muni is indicating absorb your past, your mind, the past time of Krishna, you will become that. You will enter that. You will achieve that. There would no other pastimes are like the pastimes of Sri Krishna. So attractive. So human like. Manava, just like human beings. Lord Narayan has no mother and father. Where did he come from? His Swat Siddhartha, self manifest. He has no father, no grandparents, no children, no wife. When was the marriage of Lakshmi Narayan? They were married. His pastimes completely full of awe and reverence. Thus, don't get more than 10 feet close and often pronounce from them. Be careful not to speak too loud so your breath does not go on the Lord, you may make some offense. Therefore, Ram's pastime, Ram Chandra's pastime is even more attractive than Lord Narayan. Because by his Achinda Shakti, his inconceivable potencies, Agadana Agadana Patasya Shakti, which makes him possible, possible, that self born, self manifest Lord, Sarvakarna Karam, who has no beginning. Who is the cause of all causes? He has a mother and father. They were round liver, very sweet. He has mother and father. He has grandparents. He went to Guru. But his pastimes also mixed so much with Majada. Majada means respect for, towards the rules and regulations of Vedic energy. Of course, Lord Ram as the Supreme Lord is beyond all Veda or Majada, but still. His pastimes are that. But Krishna's pastimes cross everything. Lord Ram never lies. How many lies Krishna tells? Lord Ram never steals. But Krishna steals butter, rotis, subjects. Lord Ram, before his pastimes are contained by Majada, but Krishna's pastimes are not contained by anything. They are controlled by Prem. Therefore, Satyabhata Muni said, there are many incarnations, Advaita, Machuda, Manada, Ananta, Rupa. There are many incarnations, but no incarnation, no incarnation can be like Sri Krishna, in terms of sweetness. Yasoda, Vyokula, Dharma. What an astonishing scene comes in the heart of Satyabhata Muni. The whole world is chasing behind Krishna, offering prayers for this and that. But Krishna is chasing, running, chasing. <laughs> But Madhya Sarva is chasing behind Sri Krishna. So so we hear, Krishna is so amazing, Krishna is so powerful, Krishna is so great. But how great must the other Madhya Sarva be? Because she is chasing him to punish him, to catch him. In one mind, one, comes in one mind, who is this Sarva Devi? 
oh, I would like to get no mercy, I would like to do bhajan like her. So, <clears throat> there are many mothers of the different incarnations. In Bhagavatam, it describes Sutta, um, Suttapan Krishna performed a rather noble Narayana of Bhagavan. When Bhagavan appeared before them, they were so happy. He asked, what benediction do you want? I want a son like you, I want a son like you, I want a son like you. Then Bhagavan said, no one can be like me. No one can be the same as me, what to speak as being more than me. Therefore, I will have to become your son, I will have to become your son, I will have to become your son. There were three births. Bhagavan appeared as their son. Even though Bhagavan appeared as their son, still, they could not have very deep feelings of parental affection towards Bhagavan. My son is Bhagavan, that is okay. Because the feeling, my son is prominent and Bhagavan is secondary. But Bhagavan is my son. No, that son causes some disturbance. Therefore they had good fortune, like Kas Kadamna, Kasya Rishi. Had Bhagavan as his son, but as soon as Bhagavan appeared as Kapila Dev, he took sannyas. Very strange thing. Normally one takes sannyas to get Bhagavan. But Kadamba Rishi, when Bhagavan came, he took sannyas from Bhagavan. He thought if I stay too close to him, I may begin actually thinking, here's my son. Maybe I'll start cleaning him, feeding him, then I'll become offender. My mind will be full of material intelligence. So better I take some else and think of him from a distance. <laughs> Therefore, in juxtaposition from Suttara and Krishna, we have drawn and dark. Instead of worshipping Bhagavan directly, they had more intelligence. They worshipped Bhagavan's devotees. Because Aradhanam Sarvesham Vishnu Aradhanam Param Tasman Paratalam Devi Tariyam Samachanam. Lord Shiva said, the worship of Vishnu is the highest worship. But only one thing is higher than the worship of Vishnu. What is that? That is the worship of the devotees of Vishnu. So Drona Dharma, more intelligent, more fortunate. They thought we want Prema, but Bhagavan is not giving Prema. He is not giving that good of seva, so we will worship the devotees of Bhagavan. So they worship Lord Brahma. And then Brahma appeared after a long time. What do you want? We want Vatsali Ras towards Bhagavan. Then Chatamuk Brahma said, Katastu, it shall be so. Then Guruji would say, How Brahmaji can give Vatsali friend towards Bhagavan? See Krishna, he does not have that. Lord Brahma is is Mahavishnu. Sorry, Gavadak Sari Vishnu. How can Brahma give something he does not possess? Guruji says, whatever Brahmaji is pure devotee, if Brahmaji says anything, Bhagavan will make his words true. Therefore, Jorana and Dha appeared inside the body of the eternal associate, the eternal mother and father, Swami Bhagavan Sri Krishna, that is Nanda, the soul. And inside their body they tasted the highest quality of Bhatsalya Brahma. So, Bhagavan causes fear in everyone. The moon rises because of the fear of the Lord. The sun rises and shines because of the fear of the Lord. The wind blows because of fear of the Lord. But Krishna is afraid of his mother and running. What is causing this? Yoga Maya is doing astonishing things. Yoga Maya is so astonishing, even Bhagavan becomes astonished. <laughs> even very difficult sometimes for Krishna to understand the workings of Yoga Maya. Otherwise, if Madhya Sadra understands my son is Bhagavan, what will happen? She'll stick him in the cupboard, <laughs> add a bit of incense and a bit of mystery once a day, no more pastimes, finish. Therefore, Yoga Maya enables Krishna's wonderful pastimes. The Krishna forgetting, I am the Supreme Lord, the cause of all causes. He's thinking, I am the son of Yasoda, I am a naughty boy. I have broken the pot. And Madhya Soda also forgetting, my son is the omniscient Supreme Lord. She is thinking, never. He is my son. I must punish him. Then even though the whole creation is running behind Krishna, <laughs> Krishna is running away from his mother. So how Krishna came in such a position that is described in Srimad Bhagavatam. 
it has its swadi le bhai anand kunde. As Krishna is running from his mother, his earrings are swinging and kissing his cheeks. Krishna has sharp like earrings. So as Krishna runs, one earring kisses that cheek, then the other earring thinks, oh, he gets all the luck, then when Krishna moves this side, that earring kisses that lotus, that very shiny cheek and mouth of Krishna. So if Krishna is running, he is completely naked. Only Madhya Soda has put some cord here around his waist, some spittle here, like to keep away ghosts and spirits. Madhya Soda, by saliva, she not spits on Krishna, but to keep away inauspicious influence. She puts some kajal here, some black mark here, some cord here, some amulets here for Srigadev or Vishnu. Protect my child, protect my child. Therefore, Guru Goswami says, if Madhya Soda can protect even Sri Krishna, then why she cannot protect us? Therefore, <clears throat> by hearing of the glories of the service of the Prajabhasis, one may develop a greed. For Ragatmika Mukha Hoi Prajabhasigan, Tasrupe Rutta Hoi Tarpagiva Mahasa. By hearing of the good fortune of the Prajabhasis, like Madhya Soda, like Nanda Maharaj, like the Prajagopis, like Sri Dhamma and Subal, by hearing, hearing, one may think, oh, I wish I could serve like Madhya Soda. I wish I could serve like Rupa and Radhi Manjaris. So amongst all the eternal perfect associates of the various incarnations of the Supreme Lord, the Prajabhasis are the top ones. So hearing of their several one may develop a desire, a greed. I will also serve under the guidance of Madhya Soda, under the guidance of the Prajagopis. I will also catch Krishna. When Madhya Soda wants to bind, I will pass the road. I will serve like that. So, <clears throat> Krishna, he is always under the influence of Yoga Maya. All his friends are always joking with him. One day Guru Maharaj described, Krishna was at Brahmanagar. So all the coward boys began joking with him, especially Balaram and others. Hey Krishna, you are very intelligent. We have one question for you. What question? Madhya Soda is very fair. And Nandabhara is also very fair. How did you come such a black child? Because white plus white makes white. White plus white does not make double black. Then Krishna began scratching his head. It's true, white mother. White father, and look at me. What happened to me? Where did I come from? Then the cow noise, because they're still older than Krishna. Same thing we used to do as children. Therefore, ground by such as Swachasi come, just like village boys. Then where did I come from? They said, You came from one Aboriginal woman. She was born, maybe out of wedlock, I don't know. And then she was thinking, Where to keep this black child? She saw one hole in one bean tree, she put the child in there. Who is that child? That was you. <laughs> Every day Nandabala, Nandabala's comes to take part in the Yamuna. He heard some crying. He looked, and he's very kind, very merciful, and he adopted you. Then Krishna began thinking, maybe it's true. Look at me, where did I come from? So Krishna went home began packing his bag, one child, some rotis, some mysteries, some children's toys like this, some flute. Then Madhya Soda asked, dear boy, where are you going? Really, I cannot be your son, I am so glad. Then Madhya Soda began laughing, why is he like that son? Look at me and look at you. Then Madhya Soda said, sit down, listen carefully. Guru Mahaj said, Krishna is very intelligent, but his mother must be more than him because she came from him. Devo Mother said, listen son, in this house everything belongs to Bhagavan Vishnu. Because Madhya Sarada, Nanda Baba especially, always thinking of Vishnu. Oh Vishnu, protect my son. Oh Vishnu, protect us. They're never thinking that their son is the source of millions of Vishnus. Like when we heard Pujapat Gita Maharaj said, when Madhya Sarada looked in the mouth of Krishna and saw the ghost, what did she think? Oh, she saw the universe in the mouth of Krishna. She thought some ghost is there. She called the Brahmanas, get rid of this ghost by some mantra of Bhagawan, Vishnu. So Nandiya Soda are great devotees of Lord Vishnu. So she said, listen son, everything in this house 
belongs to Lord Vishnu. Everything we eat, we also eat in the form of shaligram. What color is shaligram? The baby Krishna look, it's black. So you came, because we had no sun even in all days, you came by the mercy of Lord Vishnu, therefore you're black. And Krishna said, yes, it's true. Therefore, I won't eat any more in this house, otherwise I'll become more black. <laughs> so I will only eat in the house of the great boss. So from that day, Krishna thinking, I will begin my activities of stealing and mishi and roti and something. Really, in time, Krishna never steals anything because everything belongs to him. But there's only one new soda, one Nanda Baba. No. Millions and millions and millions of bridge bhasis. All things, Krishna is my son, Krishna is my son. We love him like that. How Krishna can come and eat in our house? Because they are not cooking for their own children, they are not cooking for their husband, they are cooking only for Krishna. Then Krishna is very, very merciful. How would he fulfill the desires of the millions and millions of Guru Masters? If a Guru Mahaj would explain, Krishna in the morning he comes up, and Krishna manifests millions of forms of baby Krishna. And each baby Krishna goes in one house and begins to steal Maka and Rota. But due to the influence of Yoga Maya, no one knows there's millions and millions of Krishnas. Each Vrijabhasi thinks, because Krishna loves me the most, he has come to my house and he is stealing from me. Because Bhaktila Dravu Prabhu Kori Kori Kaya, Bhaktila Dravu Prabhu Nandeki Nahicha. Even though devotees offer so many preparations to Krishna, if what to speak of desire to eat those preparations, Krishna never even looks at them. Like when Krishna came on behalf of the Pandavas as Shanti Dut to make peace between the Kauravas and the Pandavas. Then Duryodhan also heard baby Krishna, very greedy fellow, he used to steal so much food from the poor Vrijabhasis. Obviously Krishna has no control over his tongue and senses. <laughs> Therefore Duryodhan, thinking by his material intelligence, I will make a big feast for Krishna and wish to comes and sees my Paniya Sathis and Pakoras, then he will, water will come from his mouth. Oh yeah, whatever you take from the Pandas, I don't care, just give me something to eat. Therefore, Duryodhan was the king of the whole world at that time. Therefore, imagine the type of feast he made for Krishna. But Krishna came, Duryodhan, and Krishna said, Duryodhan. There are three rules in eating. What's the first rule? Hunger. If you are not hungry, no matter how much is there, you will never eat. So Krishna said, Oh, do buy it, cousin brother. In eating, there is one rule. The first rule is hunger. I am not hungry. Why? Because Satyananda Rupa, Krishna has a transcendental body. He has no hunger, no thirst. How could you feed someone who is never hungry? Impossible. So Krishna said, The first rule is hunger. The second rule is prayer. If you are completely stuffed and you pull up here, then Tita Maharaj comes with a little bit of hollow. <laughs> hey, I made this for you. Can you say no? Even though you are not hungry because it's given with freaking with affection, you will have to eat. The second rule is prema. You have no prem for me. And the third rule, one should not eat in the house of an enemy. Or some say the third rule is we have not finished our business. After business, we can eat. You have not given the Pandavas anything. Even you said, I will not give one. Enough land to peer push the head of a peer into. I cannot eat here. I will eat in the house of Vidura. Then Vidura was very poor. Guruji says in his house there was not even a mouse because nothing for them to eat there. All mouse would migrate to the neighboring villages. So Krishna said, I will stay in the house of Vidura. Then Vidura Mahatma thinking, maybe I should take some doggy back from here. Nothing for there in my house. So he went there when Krishna Vidurani, the wife of Vidura, so Krishna Bhagavan has come to my house. Then her heart melted with ecstasy. When a friend comes to say, sit here. Then when Krishna came to Vidura, say, sit here, Vidurani. Sit here, that you don't know, here is not good. He moved the furniture, sit here. Here is not good, sit here. Maybe five or ten minutes, Krishna is just watching her. How much she is absorbed in thinking. How to give me a nice seat, how to welcome me. 
Devi Dura, Rani got nothing to give Krishna, to which she ran to the back and took some green banana. And she was so happy she was peeling the banana and the skin she was giving to Krishna and the banana fruit she was throwing out the window. So much absorbed that Krishna saw her absorption, he became hungry. She had no desire to feed me, I am hungry. Krishna was eating that banana skin, very tasty. Then Vidura said, crazy woman, what are you doing? The fruit you give to Krishna, the skin you throw outside. Then when she heard those words, her prem came little down. Then she said, oh, okay. Fruit to Krishna, skin out the window. Then Krishna was eating the fruit saying, oh, that skin was very tasty. But this fruit is not so sweet. Therefore, Margaret was saying, we should have feelings of service towards Bhagavan. Not only chanting mantra, we should also serve Krishna and Krishna's devotees. Therefore, Krishna began his activities of stealing. Why? Because the Vrijavasi had so much desire. I want Krishna to eat. I want him to take from my hand. There were no devotees offer things to Krishna. Krishna never even looks at it. The devotee, even he does not offer Krishna, Krishna will steal. Why? Because they have that affection for Krishna. And Bhav Krihi Janati. Krishna never takes the offering. Krishna takes the mood behind the offering. Like we are offering to Tapati. Ding, ding, ding. And then we begin to try and go. Ding, 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 ding. Krishna eating or not? We don't know. Okay, we believe. <laughs> we believe Krishna eating. But we are not seeing Krishna eating. Some doubt is there. Why? That prayer is not there in us. Then why Krishna will snatch our own? But the Brijabhasi there is not. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, I forgot to offer Maru Park. Arjuna. They are not doing anything, but Krishna is stealing that offering, snatching it. So when Krishna steals, how much happiness it gives the Brijabhasi. Therefore, Satyabhara Noni, I am worshipping that Satyabhara Bhagavan. But which Bhagavan? That Bhagavan who out of fear of being punished by Mother Soda is running and your soda is chasing behind him. So tomorrow we will hurt. Did she catch him? What happened? What made Krishna into such predicament? So we will hear this. Guruji, I remember he would speak like this. And day after day, day after day, day after day, he would taste these childhood meals of Krishna. Because so sweet, so sweet. So we're lucky this month, this is Dhammadarasi. There are two Dhammadas, real Dhammadas. One is the Soda Dhammada, who is caught by Madhya Soda and bound by Madhya Soda. Another is Radha Dhammada, who is bound by the frame of Radhika. So we will hear all about this in the mouth of the